Hi everyone, in this video I'll be reading Wait, You're a Wizard, part one of two. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. This is a crossover of the shows Wizards of Waverly Place and That's So Raven because they share an actor. And yes, the actor that they share does not have a huge role in That's So Raven. Um, he is the protagonist's brother's friend. So, in uh, That's So Raven, but he is a series regular on Wizards. So, anyway, let's get on with the story now. Wait, you're a wizard? Oops. Okay. I meant to make this bold and I forgot. Mother. Alex, Max, and Justin are in the wizard lair when Justin's phone goes off. Justin accusing, Alex, you're, you're supposed to silence your phone during wizard training. I know, Justin, but that's not my ringtone, says Alex. Then who's broken the rule and will be getting their phone spelled, says uh, Jerry. Max, defensively, why is everyone looking at me? My phone's in my room, says Max. Justin says... Well, if it's neither of yours, Dad. <laughs> Jerry, uh, while holding his phone. Oops. While holding his phone. It's not mine. Alex has picked up the ringing phone. Ooh, Justin's in trouble. Holding it, uh, while shaking it side to side. Like... That, I, I don't know. Um, it's your phone, and someone named Corey Baxter is calling you? Alright. Someone named Corey Baxter is calling. Justin demanding, Hey, give it back to me! I have to answer that! Says Justin. Jerry instructs, Alex, hand it over to me. Excited. Alex is excited to see her brother get in trouble. Okay, <laughs> Justin's in trouble. Jerry disciplines. Uh, Alex, cut it out. Justin, you will get this back when class is over. Justin begging, please, can I have it just to explain that I'm busy right now? All right, fine, says Jerry, but make it short. Justin happily says, great, on the phone. Uh, Justin apologizes. Sorry, I didn't answer right away, but I'm busy. I can call you back in 15 minutes. Is that okay? Ask, uh, ask Justin. Yes, that that is fine. We're about to have lunch anyway, says Corey. Wait, we're, says Justin. Yes, me and William, says Corey. Jerry is miming, hurry up, to Justin. Okay, I have to go. I'll talk to you in 15 minutes. The two hang up. Jerry instructs, now, today we will be learning the enlargement spell. And we'll be practicing on Justin's phone. The spell is get large and in charge. While pointing at the phone. So I know, I don't know if there is an enlargement spell on the show, and I've just forgotten what it was or not. But this is my attempt at creating an enlargement spell. Um, I don't think it's the best, but it's the best I can do. <laughs> anyway, uh, Justin, po while pointing his wand at his phone, get large and in charge. My phone. Uh, great, now return it, says Jerry. Do the minimizing spell. Uh, I don't remember all of the minimizing spells, so this is what I remember from it. Shrinky dink, shrinky dunk, my phone. Something along those lines. Um, now, it's Alex's turn. Alex does the spell. How do I make it bigger? Says Alex. You can't. Now do the minimizing spell. Says Jerry. Oh, fine, says Alex. And she does the spell. Quick edit. Quick edit. 
So I know there is a minimizing spell in the dollhouse episode, and that's all I can remember from it. Uh, so I'm sorry if there's more to it than that. Uh, back to the story now. Jerry allows, good, Max, you're up next. Max messes up the spell, and the phone explodes due to the mess up. Justin upset. Dad, what's the undo spell for that? I'm sorry, son, but there isn't one, says Jerry. What? You owe me a phone, says Justin. We'll get you a new phone. You'll just have to use your wizard one till then. You mean my wand, says Justin. Yes, you'll just have to be careful no one sees you use it. A few minutes later... Shouldn't Larry be calling us now? Calling you now, Cory? In the sub shop. Yes, that's weird, says Cory. In agreement, yeah. That's weird. Wait, what's the white light on the frame of their pantry door for? Now all those people are coming out of the pantry. What were they all doing in there? Says William. Yeah, and one of them is holding a stick to his ear like it's some type of phone. Says Corey. Seconds later, Corey r r Corey's phone rings. Oh, hey, Larry. We're at this. We're at, we're still at the sub shop. The sub shop. And there's this weird guy talking to a stick like it's a phone. You gotta see this before he leaves. Larry, Larry, you still there? Oh yeah, I'm here. Says Justin. Why are you at the Waverly substation? You recommended it if we were ever here. Wait a second. I never said where we were. How did you know that? Justin covering. Uh, just a feeling. Oh my gosh, are you a psychic, says Cory? What? No, psychics don't exist. Witches, wizards, and goblins, sure, but not psychics, says Justin. Anyway, I'm going to meet up with you guys. Uh, I'll be there in a few seconds. Hangs up. Cory confused. Don't you mean a few minutes, Larry? Larry? Huh. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, Cory says, huh. Guess he hung, guess he hung up. Hey guys, says Justin. Guess you did mean second, says Cory. Hey. So you, uh, wait. William says, you were the guy talking to the stick, weren't you? Yes, that was me. Uh, I can explain that. You see, I'm part of this group testing new tech items. And this week, it's the stick phone. Oh, can I try it out? Says Cory. Absolutely not, is what I originally put there, but it said absolutely was not grammatically correct or whatever. Um, so, uh, my, uh, Justin uh, explains, absolutely not. Why, says Cory. Because there's still a few bugs that need to get worked out, and if held incorrectly, it could give you a, an electric shock. BTW, Justin is now sitting in the booth with Corey and William, as Max comes over to apologize. Justin, sorry I made your phone explode, says Max. Thanks for the apology, uh, says Justin. On the bright side, I'll be getting a new phone soon. Okay, so who's your friends, says Max. Before he introduces us, says Corey, why are you calling him Justin? His name's Larry. No, it's Justin, says Max. I would know. He's my brother, says Max. Corey questions. What's your real name? Larry or Justin? And that's it for part one. So I hope you enjoyed this story. Uh, make sure to comment, uh, like, subscribe. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching.